what's up, I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Evolve Golf One. Now today we're gonna improve your game by giving your body the tools it needs to excel in the course. Now put your clubs aside, cause this ain't the driving range. You guys ready to get started? Yeah. Let's go ahead and take our feet nice and wide right here. Hands on our hips. We're just gonna shift our weight to the right, up through center, over to the left, up through center. Nice and small. And as your legs start to get warmed up, you can take your hips back just a little bit further. So you get a tiny bit deeper of a lunge right now. When you're ready, we're gonna start adding some arms. Up and over with the arms. Tap the top of the thigh. Up and over. Tap the top of the thigh. Nice and slow right here. I want your arms all the way up. Extend down to really open up the chest. Get the shoulders involved. Looking good, keep going. Golf requires power, control, and flexibility. Now this workout is going to help you improve all three. It includes some familiar primal movements as well as some new exercises. And listen, if you've never played golf before, I guarantee you're probably gonna wanna try it after this. Let's go ahead and take our hands on our hips. Kick that right heel up behind us and left heel. Just really stretching out the quads. Pushing that hip forward every time you give me a nice heel kick back. Waking up the hamstrings and the hips all at the same time. Lots of lower body going on. For four, three, we're gonna bring it center for a march two. Last one, either side. Left knee drives up. Just a nice march right here. You can take your hands all the way up in front of you. So you're gonna have three mods today. Mod one is the easiest, all the way up to mod three, which is the most challenging. Right here is my girl Stephanie in mod one. If you're new to the game, or maybe you're playing for fun, you're gonna learn the basic fundamentals right here in mod one. What's up, Steph? Moving back to mod two right here is my guy, Stefan. Now, if you're a novice player, then mod two is for you. So. Mod three over here is my girl, Char. Now, this is the most challenging of all the mods. It demands more strength, more balance, and a little bit more coordination of the body right here. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Cool. So remember, you can always evolve up or mod down, depending on your level. I want you to change it up as necessary. You're still gonna get a really effective workout. Take our hands on our hips and just shuffle right to left, just to get the heart rate up. If you feel comfortable using your arms, it's just opposite arm, opposite leg. Something nice and easy, side to side. So we wanna focus on that lateral movement. So when you take it over into your stance, you're gonna feel it right, shifting left. Or maybe if you're a lefty, you'd lift back swing left, shifting to the right. Now if any of the movements today are confusing to you, Jan has got the tutorials on all the movements. Go ahead and check them out to make sure that your form is correct so you're getting the most out of your workout. Let's go for four, three, two, one. Take your feet center. I want you to pull your heel up, grab your ankle, find your balance. Left hand up to the sky. Stand up nice and tall. Find that quad stretch. Three, two, go ahead and switch. Left hand, left ankle, thighs together. Nice and tall. And we're gonna hold for four, three, two, let it go, then swing it out, standing up nice and tall. Lift that left heel, right heel, keep the chest open, palms forward. Try to reach that right hand back behind you. Now we're gonna have two rounds of seven exercises, repeated and accompanied by a blowout, which all focus on the key elements your body is going to use while you're on the course. Are you guys feeling okay? Yeah. You got four more seconds, three, two, one, take a big deep breath in. Exhale the arms down and we're ready to get started in our first round of set A. How are we feeling? Good. Nice and loose? Mm-hmm. Cool. So our first movement today is bent over Zen swing. I want you to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. I want you to come down into a nice hinge at your hips. So you're almost in a squat right here. The hands come down in front of you and you're gonna give me that same Zen swing we just finished off in the warm up. We're just gonna bend it over in front of us. In three, two, one, here we go. So what I want you to see is the belly button pulled in. I want the chest to be over the thighs and at a nice light angle. So you're gonna see Stefan in mod two, his chest is slightly lifted, his belly sucked in, and he's really manipulating his core right here. So even just looking at this, you can tell that we're gonna start perfecting our drive today, yeah? yeah. The drive has force and it needs to be able to come straight through with all that torque on the body. In mod three right here, Char's bending over and holding on just like she has her club in her hand. You can do this getting out of your car while you're walking onto the course at your first tee off. Really let the shoulders open up and start to really open up that chest. You got three, two, 
One, go ahead and shake it out. Nice work, guys. We have our rowing single leg deadlift coming up. So I want you to place that right leg back behind you. You're gonna grab an imaginary barbell in front of you. As you lower down, you're gonna find that nice row at the top. Lower your arms, go ahead and lift up and balance. Goes right back down, same leg. So it's down, row, lower, balance. Let's go in three, two, one, nice and easy. Find your balance the first time as you're going over. A deadlift is really challenging in itself, especially because I want you to stay in that nice straight line. Chest forward, leg back, squeeze the back together. I want you to make my hand disappear the next time you go down. You ready for it? Yep. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Perfect, there you go. Lift, you guys have about one more on this right hand side. And go ahead and switch legs. So you're gonna see him mod too, his hands are facing in. It's like he's got imaginary dumbbells in each hand. The heavier you imagine, the more you engage your muscles. A little heavier, that's what's gonna fire up the arms right there. So many muscles to look at, just like make me amazed right now. This is great. I don't need to go anywhere else. I can just watch really quick. Three, two, good work, one. Okay guys, we have our cross crawl coming up, so we're gonna put your hands behind your head. Step your feet out just about hip distance apart. And we're gonna bring our knee and elbow to touch. Three, two, one, here we go. Nice and easy, it's rotating the core and finding balance on that leg. So there's no pause in the center, it's gonna fire up right to left. Keep the elbows pushing back. You're gonna see a mod one, she has her hands right on top of her shoulders crossing, but that's gonna keep her chest lifted. I don't want her to crunch forward. I want her to stand up straight and maintain good posture. Engage your core. Keeping it nice and tight, and you can actually get that elbow over the knee, yeah? Perfect, there it is, nice stuff. Mod two, arms are still crossed, they're actually stacked right here, so the elbows are in line with the shoulder. There we go, keep the shoulders away from the ears. That's so beautiful of you. Very Russian-like. <laughs> you guys have about five more seconds, we're almost there. Finish off, three, two, one, exhale. The hay baler's coming up. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart, so we're gonna actually sit down into a squat. Now this is all gonna take place on the right-hand side first. Outside of your hip, throw it up and over. Outside of the hip, throw it up and over. Let's go, three, two, meet me down in one. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, open, exhale, twist. There we go. Power up. I want this heel to lift and the hips almost to twist. There we go. Really manipulate that core. Get it, Char. Exhale, lift. Perfect. So think about your follow through in your swing. You have your back swing, and as you follow through, switch sides, your hip follows along, and you're having that drive, that powerful drive. This is where it's coming from right here. Fire up the intensity no matter what mod you're doing right here. I wanna see that same heaviness. Throw it, pick it up, throw it. There it is, Steph, do it again. Now pick me up. Come on, I'm ready. Go I'm three, throw you out. I'm sure. Two, that's no big deal. One. <laughs> Okay, relax right there, guys. We have our windmill coming up. So both toes turn to the right, just slightly. We're gonna take our left hand up to the sky, right palm on the inside of your thigh. And we're gonna slightly bend our knees and start to lower all the way down. Left hand reaches all the way up. Let's go in three, two, one. Down, 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 hold, and lift. Let's do that again. Lower, 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 hold, and lift. So you're really gonna feel a nice stretch on that lat, on that side body right now. So fingers all the way up, she's looking up at her hand and reaching up even higher as you come up. Let's switch sides. Turn both toes to the left, shift your hips, palm on the inside of your thigh, slight bend in the knee. She's really gonna look up and then fingers straight up. Look at that. Really lift up out of that shoulder. You have 10 more seconds. Take your time, it's three seconds down. That's fantastic, can you bend your knees a little bit for me? There we go, nice. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming down onto our back, we have our moving bridge. So, I want your hands out to the side, I want you to press your hips up to the ceiling, and I want you to extend one leg out at a time. Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. After your hips are lifted, the way you're gonna get your hips up is just by pressing into your heels. You'll see the difference in mod one is Stephanie's gonna really power up from the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back. And as she lifts up, the belly drops back in. So we're looking for that nice flat line from your knees down to your shoulders. Keeping a neutral neck position with your head on the ground. Remember to breathe. Inhale is on the down. Exhale on the lift. There it is, cool. In mod two, you've got Stefan driving his knee up one at a time 
Go ahead and hit my hand. So the toes are still lifted up off the floor. He's powering up the front side of his legs and the back side. That's it. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Coming up next, the fourth field swinger. You're going to take your feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And we're going to come forward right here. So I want your palms to face in towards one another. You're going to open up slowly and connect down. Connect down. So slow up, fast down. Slow up, fast down. In three, two, one, let's begin. So your right hand all of a sudden becomes your left. Slow up, drive it down. Think about your drive. You're taking your slow backswing, and then as soon as you come through, it's a drive, powerful drive as you come through, right? So the slow backhand up, drive it down. Slow up, drive it down. Slow, a little slower. Slow up, drive it down. That's great. Perfect. Can you add a breath in for me? Inhale up, exhale. Inhale up. You focusing on a ball? You see one in front of you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You gotta focus, you gotta see it. Make one happen, you have five more seconds. Hit it. In three, two, one. Excellent work. Supine scissors and prone flutters are your blowout. So we're gonna start laying on our back, hands out to the side, head on the floor. You're gonna lift your toes up and hover. Turn your toes out. Heels are connected, and you're gonna cross over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under. Your prone flutter flips over. Your thumbs are up to the sky. You're gonna lift, and you're gonna flutter right here in prone position. Your time's gonna start in three, two, one, let's go. So, this is your blow. You have 90 seconds to really lock it in right now. So again, I want your toes out and your heels in. Over, under, over, under. Nice work, you got it. Now when we flip it over on our belly in about 15 more seconds, you're gonna fire up the back side of the body. Lots of core work right here. Complete core work, back and front. Who said you have to be working your abs laying on your back? Watch what happens when you flip it over. In three, two, one, go ahead. On your belly, head forward. Reach your arms out in front of you. Go ahead and lift up and start that flutter right as soon as you get there. Time waits for no one, neither do I. Let's do it. Squeeze those shoulder blades back together. So you're gonna see in mod one right here, her hands are pulled back to her shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. That's great, Steph, nice work. Tiny little flutters in the back of her legs. You guys have about eight more seconds in you? Yeah. You sure? Mm -hmm. no, yeah. 20. yeah. 20 seconds, he said. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> he just amped it up for you guys. Way to go, Stefan. You got eight seconds now. You would have been done already. Are you ready to flip <laughs> it over in three, <laughs> two, one? Here we go, flip it back over. And you're gonna see right here, Arms out to the T, and his legs in mod two are gonna be a little bit higher. So the higher the legs, the easier it's gonna be. That doesn't mean it's easy. These are very challenging. So mod one, legs all the way up to the ceiling right here. Beautiful. You guys have three, two, one, and relax. Excellent job. You got yourself a 45 second break. It's gonna fly by. Go grab some water right now. Cool. I could always use some water too, right? Mm -hmm. It's good for the body. It's good for the mind. Take a load off, Fanny. <sighs> awesome job, everyone. So proud of you guys, that was a great job. Okay, second round of set A coming up. We're gonna have our bent over Zen swing to start. So let's go ahead and take our chest slightly over our thighs, grab hold of that club right here, and we're gonna swing it right and left, right and left. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. Has this ever happened to you? You call into the golf course, get out of your car, take your club, you hit the first hole, and you still haven't moved at all. Chances are that first swing of the day is probably gonna be really rusty. Do this at your car. Impress your friends a little bit, warm it up. It'll help you hit a more powerful first drive and an easier first hole as a result. And who doesn't want that? Take the load off. Start from the top, hit it. Nice. Again, little hit. Perfect. Slight bend in the knee, you guys have three, two, one, and up top, high five. Rock and roll, baby. Rowing single leg deadlift. Right leg back behind you, grab your apparatus, take your chest forward, flex up that back leg, pull it in, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lower down, and go ahead and balance at the top. So down, 
row, lower, and lift. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go ahead and begin. So there's three different mods right here, and they're all going to be broken down in the tutorials by Jana. If you want, go ahead and check it out so you know which one is for you. Now, hey, you might have really flexible legs, and your core might be a little bit weaker. That's okay. Find your balance, find the mod that's right for you, and work your way up. Go ahead and switch legs. A little bit more flexibility in the back of the leg is going to help you go forward even more. Contract that core, really engage it as you lift. Steph in Mod 1 is going to tap that foot down as she rolls through. Mod 2, you're going to see just a slight tap of the foot back here. And again, the dumbbell. Three, nice work. Two, one, and recover. Moving right along into our cross crawl, let's take our hands back behind our head, and we're going to bring our knee and elbow to touch. In three, cross crawl, two, and one. Just like your swing, it's not about how fast it is. It's the fluidity that counts. Whatever the degree of rotation, control it. Elbow to knee, you got it. My little dancer friend, a little higher. Look at that. I'm your guide for your knee. That's perfect. Get it, Char. Every time you twist, exhale. There it is. It feels good to breathe, man. Listen, if you're moving a lot, chances are you've forgotten to breathe and you start holding your breath. And it's not until you stop a movement that you're actually like, and realize, hey, I wasn't breathing that entire time. So what we need to do is let go of it right here. And it actually makes the move a lot easier. Up top, three, two, one, cool. The hay baler is coming up. Feet nice and wide, down outside of the right thigh, twist and exhale. Exhale, twist. Three, two, one, here we go. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Good job, Steph, keep that core engaged. Inhale, exhale, twist. Now these mods may all look similar in that they're squatting and twisting, but the difference is how deep into the squat they're getting and the range of motion on the twist. Switch sides. It's good to imagine throwing something real in your life. Just clothes, right? That's what I have to do when I get home. Clothes everywhere. Get them out. The point of imagining a real physical object is to encourage the contraction of your muscles. You don't want to be loose in your movements. You want to be engaged. Because the more you engage your muscles, the stronger they will get. Three, two, one. Good job, everyone. Windmill's coming up. Let's go ahead and turn both of our feet to the right-hand side. Now. A lot of times without bending your knee, you're gonna extend through and push your hip back. So I want us to all have slight bends in our knees to start off with. Open the palm, open the palm in three, down to the right two, and one. Let's lower, 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 look up, lift, lift, lift. So it's down, three, two, one, hold, and up. Down, 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 hold, and up. So QL, the side of the body. This is perfect, actually, right here. <laughs> <laughs> I won't do it again. Switch sides. <laughs> Laughing is great. It says so in chicken soup for the teenage soul. Lower down, and I'm gonna... <laughs> oh, Steph, this is gonna be a new fun game. Really pull up, pull up, pull up. Right here, let me see you pull up. Good. Lower down right here. Pull down, pull down, pull down. Exhale. Three, two, one. Okay. Truce. Nice work. I thought this was supposed to work my side on my ass. <laughs> All the way around. <laughs> Moving bridge. Take it down. Coming onto your back right here. Heels down, toes up. Press the heels and go ahead and extend one leg at a time. Let's go. Three, two, one, and begin. Now, as you're going along, I see this happen all the time. Lower lower and by the end of the 45 you're doing it down here hey listen if you gotta move down a mod to keep your form that's when you do it as soon as you start to see that form just fade away choose a different mod and rock that one out or if you want to take a pause get a breath and come back into it and you can maintain that form go for it in mod one drop the hips exhale push drop the hips exhale push that's awesome right there Hands are going to be just a little bit lower in Mod 2 compared to Mod 3. And just a knee lift. Three, two, one. And go ahead and high five it out for me. Sugar up top. There we go. OK, force field swinger, guys. Stand it on up. Just like a magnet. It comes down, it connects, it opens. I want it slow up and forceful down. Slow up, 
Forceful, slow, forceful, slow, force. Down three, two, join in one. Here we go. Start applying it to your game right here. Start thinking about it. Golf is all about focus. You have one opportunity, one chance to find that connection and make the most out of it. I want you to focus down. Just imagine that T right in the center of your legs, right? Right slightly out in front of you. Your stance is so important. You're locked into that ground. Your hips aren't swinging anywhere until you ask them to, yeah? You got it. Hit the hand. Three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're coming down for supine scissors and prone flutters. Let's go ahead and lay down on our back. We're gonna start with our arms out on T, head on the floor, toes out, heels in, lift the feet off the floor. Time starts in three, two, one, let's go. Nice and big in those scissors right here. As big as you can make them, and as fast as you can go. Work your mods again. They still exist here in the blowout, so I want you to pay attention. Rock and roll, Stefan. Turn those heels in a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Three, two, one, flip it over. On that belly, directly into the prone flutter. She's gonna pull her hands in towards her shoulders. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make my hand disappear. Naha, look at that. Perfect. Four, three, two, one. Flip it back immediately, as quickly as you can. Go right into it. Scissors. Over, under, over, under. Nice work. Keep your feet above my hands. Keep your feet above my hands. Can you get a little lower? How are you doing back there, A little step? lower? I'm surviving. <laughs> well, push through. Ugh. Um, there was a request to hold this for another 20 oh. seconds, and it came from Stefan. Yeah, oh. 20 more seconds, guys, you can do this. Lower your legs a little bit if you can. Ooh. Go for it, Shara. There it is, baby girl, hold tight. You got 10, 9, 8, 7, count it with me. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, flip it up. We're on the belly, on the belly. Let's go, let's go. You have less than 20 seconds. Hit it hard right here. Arms out to that 45 degrees. Squeeze my hands with your shoulders. You got it? Yep. Find that balance. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze tight, tight, tight. Shoelaces down towards the floor. You're almost there. You got five. You got four. You got three, two, one. Nice job. <laughs> Excellent work, everyone. You got 45 seconds of a break. Go ahead and take it. Grab a sip of water. Whew. You guys stick together, huh? That's their brother over there. <laughs> Those who play together stay together. Mm hmm. I like that. Have you guys noticed that all these primal movements have been fine-tuned to specifically meet your golf needs? Now, it's just a matter of perfecting these movements and really committing them to muscle memory, and all of a sudden, you'll see a real change in your golf game. You guys ready to go into our first round of set B? Yeah. Yes, we are. Squatting Zen swing, hands up to the side. Take your hips down back behind you. Find a nice squat. Start ringing it out, left to right. Here we go. Three. Two and one. Really stay nice and low as much as you can. Sink your weight back into those heels. Get your knee over the ankle. I'm gonna take a wild guess. You can probably go about a half an inch lower. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Everyone sees it, right? Everyone knows, Shard. Just get lower. There it is. Way to be a team player. Rocking it out side to side. I want you to rotate it as far as you can. Make sure your hips are still. Really open up those hands. Strengthen out the elbows. Look at that. You're like an atlas moving around. Take the abs in, sit the hips back just a little bit more. You're gonna notice in mod two right here that it's just a 70 degree squat. So you're not gonna be as far down as mod three, but you're still getting the killer leg workout. Three, two, one, shake out the legs. How do they feel? Nice static squat for you. Huh? Single leg putter coming up. We're gonna find our balance. Plant that foot down, lower all the way down. Start rocking it side. To side, side, to side. In three, two, one. Now it might be a small movement. It's really gonna fire up in your core because the more you really rock that upper body, the more your core has to fire up to catch your balance, right? So your core is used if you're falling at any time or even taking a step forward. The muscles in your core immediately engage to catch you. Let's go ahead and switch legs right now. So you're gonna see Steph right here just to actually get the movement in the body, and this is a great place to start for everybody. Left leg back behind you, flex that foot, keep the core nice and tight, and the movement in front of you is just gonna be very slight. 
as you move along, you're gonna see in mod two right here, the range of motion becomes a little bit bigger right here, and the actual depth of the deadlift becomes a little bit lower as well. Nice work. Three, two, one. Go ahead and shake it out. The hip twister's coming up next. Go ahead and put your hands right behind your ears, fingertips on the earlobes. I want you to go ahead and we're gonna twist open to the right. Back heel lifts, back through center, back heel lifts, back through center. Let's join in three, two, one, and it goes right, center, left, center. It's thriller, thriller night. Add the arms, just, just kidding. It actually is going to help your drive quite a bit, right? Because the follow through has that entire hip propulsion right there. And that's where your power is really gonna come from. You're gonna see a big difference between the mods right here. With the arms crossed up in mod one, the heel still lifts and the hip still twists. So the more and more you progress, the lower you should get in the squat and your arms get lifted. So as the arms lift, the chest gets lifted and the core gets involved. Anytime you hear the word core, the breath has to follow along. Three, two, one, and relax. Shake it out. You might want to do some hip twists right here. <laughs> okay, the mini windshield wiper starts by laying on our back. I'm gonna throw it to Char. Pop quiz. Arms out to the side, head on the floor. Now the mini windshield wiper looks as so. It's a slow down for two, up through center, over for two, up through center. Now her legs are slightly bent and they're over her hips with the knees. And three, everybody, two and one. High five, good work. These are one of my faves, so I always love to test my friends because they're super awesome and they usually know what's up. And if they don't, you don't even want to know what happens. Do you know what happens? No, I don't want to know. <laughs> the 100 burpee contest begins. Another day you passed. In mod two, the knees are gonna be right over those hips, but the feet are gonna be a little bit more dropped. So the feet are now in line with the knees. He's gonna lower down, and it's a little bit of a higher hover, not as close to the floor as you're gonna see in mod three. Still a ton of work. These are not easy right here. In mod one, you're gonna see feet are gonna go on the floor. Keep the knees squeezing together. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Coming up, push swing pull, but it's coming from a side plank, okay. So coming down onto your forearms, I want you to stack your arms to start. We're gonna open up to the right. So it looks like this. Stacking out to the right, there we go. Push, swing, pull. Push, swing, pull. Let's go ahead in three, two, one, and begin. So side plank, we're nice and lifted from underneath the side of our body. My feet are nice and flexed, stacked. Pulling up from the kneecaps, palm goes up, swing, and it pulls right down. Push, swing, pull. If you say it in your brain, the pattern is actually gonna start happening so much easier. You don't have to say it out loud, but you can say it in your head, right? Go ahead and twist around, because hey, if there's other people around, they're gonna start thinking you're crazy if you're talking out loud like this. Flip it over, right? Nice work. Now you're gonna see in mod one right here, her bottom knee is stacked underneath, almost like a kickstand, so it's really helping her lift from underneath. And that hip can always get just a little bit higher. I know it can, because as we start to go through, we start to sink down. Lift up, three, two, one. Go ahead and relax, guys. Laying down on your back for the drawbridge right here. So we're gonna walk our feet out, and we're gonna walk our feet in. Hands go out, palms up to the ceiling. Let your head stay flat on the floor. Lift your hips up, and we're gonna walk one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Let's go all together, everyone. Here we go, three, two, one, and we go out. Out, 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 in, 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 in. Do it again, out for four, in for four. Now you're gonna see a definite difference between our modifications. Always use the tutorial as you need, and if you want to mod up or down, go there if you're unsure of how to do any of the movements. Over here in mod two, Stefan is only taking two steps out and two steps in. We're really focused on building lower back and hip strength here. As your feet walk back in, your hips have to go up. So watch, his hips start here. Oh, nice work. He's super strong right here. You're so strong, how did you turn this page? That's awesome, you got three, two, one. Exhale, roll down, nice work guys. We have our rotating Saxon, so stand it up. We're gonna take our feet a little bit wider than hip distance apart. So the rotating Saxon looks like this. Over to the right, up through center, twist to the right, back through center, opposite side. Left, center, twist, 
Center, this is gonna feel great. Three, two, one, extend through the fingers. Head stays between the arms as you come through. Head stays between the arms as you twist. Now, don't let your arms touch your ears. That means your head's not moving or your body's not moving with your arms. So the next time you're at a sporting event and you start doing the wave, you can actually get your rotating Saxon in. You'll be cheesy, but you'll also be getting a workout in. Hey, throw it in whenever you can, right? I'm always thinking about that. You gotta earn it, right? Exactly. Earn these sides, earn these stripes. Now over at Mod 2, he's going to have nice wide Egyptian arms. So it's gonna be taking the pressure off his shoulders just a little bit more. One more and a high five. Bring it back, three, two, one. Nice. Coming up, guys, our first blowout, semi-squat rotator. Your hands are gonna be clasped for it. And then right into our single leg push swing pull. So both of these are gonna be standing up. Clasp those hands, roll your shoulders down and back, sink down into a semi-squat, rotate right and left. Three, two, one, let's start right here. That single leg push swing pull is gonna come up in about another 25 seconds, and I'm gonna do it with you. It's the same arms you just gave me on the floor, but we're gonna be standing up, yes? It's gonna be right leg, and we're gonna do it nice and slow all together. I want 10 more seconds right now. I want you to count from 10, I want you to go to nine, I want you to go from eight. Here we go, ready? Nine. <laughs> Six. How are you Nine. counting? Four. Three, two, one. Let's go. Right leg up, <laughs> palms up to the ceiling. Stefan, we're going to have some work to do. Push those arms forward, swing the arms up, pull the arms down. Push them up, swing them back, pull it in. Here we go. Push, swing, pull, push, swing, pull. Out, up and around. So your shoulder's able to move around multi directions, right? We have to have nice, loose shoulders to be able to swing through. Any tightness in the shoulders, really gonna limit our swing right here. Switch sides. Left leg up, start the hands in. Push, swing, pull. Push, swing, pull, push, swing, pull, push. Give that resistance. I want one more rep. Three, two, swing it around, pull it in. One, right back, it's rotators. 10 more seconds, fire it up. Can we all count together? Here we go, five. Four, three, two, two, one, and relax. Excellent job, guys. You've got yourself a 45 second break. Use it wisely. <laughs> what happens when I put you on the spot? You'll be ready next time, I know it. Five. I just call them five from now on. Maybe this has happened to you. Have you ever come back, a rusty player, after a long winter and been frustrated with your performance? This workout will strengthen the movement patterns necessary for golf so you don't waste any time off the course and bring you back even stronger than before you left. That sounds good, right? Sounds good. That sounds great. Moving into our second round of set B. It starts with that squatting zen swing. So take your feet nice and wide, hip distance apart. Sink down to that 90 degree squat, hands out. Rotate it right and left. Here we go. In three, two, one, join in. This is a feel good moment. This is kind of resembling the dance that my mom does at every family function, except she usually adds a leg in. Little Elaine kick. One of my signatures, kind of like it. Seriously guys, when you think of the golf swing, it's all about keeping your lower body still while you twist your upper body. Now this exercise is training us to do exactly that. So it doesn't matter how high or how low your squat is, whether you're mod one or mod three or even mod two, Stefan here, find the depth of squat that's right for you. 70 degrees, 30 degrees, and 90 degrees. Start to really work your level. You got three, two, one, shake it out. Legs are burning. Single leg putter coming up. So go ahead and take that right leg back behind you. Now it's essential to find your balance before you go down. That was my putting game. There we go. Three, two, one. Force to be reckoned with. Let's go. So nice and slow control. The best putts have the most control. It's all about power within your body, having the most control over your muscles, even having control over your breath. Imagine having the hiccups while you putt. That would be the worst. Go ahead and switch. You're so concentrated. 
Can't even mess you up. What hiccups. She's in a zen moment right here. I love it. Fire up that back leg. This is a beautiful, nice T right here. Nice straight line, strong standing leg. It's impeccable. A little hit, a little hit. Perfect. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Solid as a rock, these guys are. Hip twisters up next, hands behind your ears. We're gonna twist that back foot, twisting to the right, center, left, center. It's always left leg to the right and right leg to the left. Are you ready? Three, two, one, nice and easy. Thrust, thrust. It's really about that power from the entire pelvic girdle right here. And right on the back side of it is all that glute, right? One of the most powerful muscles in the entire body is your glute. It drives to give you that nice exertion right there. Exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Nice. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's what I'm talking about. Heel lifts. Keep that other foot planted. Nice. I want your elbows to really just hit the same line. That's perfect. Hit back. Nice. I gotta watch out. Your torque is your awesome. Face. You guys have about five more seconds. We're almost there. Three. Two, one, exhale. We have our mini windshield wiper coming up next. So lay down on your back, take your hands out to the side, and let your head just rest down on that floor. I want your focus up to the ceiling, and no matter where your feet placement is, I want you to rock it, okay? Inhale for me. We're gonna drop our legs over to the right in three, two, one, here we go. Inhale over, hold. Exhale up and over to the left. Straight through center, and keep it rocking. So you're gonna use two full counts. One over, two, hold. Exhale, up and over and hold again. So the more you take your heels away from your bum, the more challenging it's gonna be. So first they start on the floor in mod one, mod two, they're up in line with your knees, and in mod three, they're at a 90 degree angle. I wanna see how far you can go down with those knees. Really test yourself right here. Fire it up, good. Get 10 more seconds. I'm gonna give you a little bit of an adjustment. Knees over your hips, get those heels up just a little bit. That's it right there. Three, two, one, and exhale. All I did was drop his knees away from his belly button so that his knees were right up over his hips. That's all you gotta do. Then the lower abs kick in. Push swing pull from our side plank right here. Starting down on our forearms and stack your arms one at a time. So as we come over to that right, your palm is facing up. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. It's a push, it's a swing, pull. Push, swing, Pull, push, swing, pull. And every single time you pull that arm down, it pulls down into a nice 90 degree angle. Pull it down. There it is, nice work. Really drive that elbow in. One more, come on. We're switching sides right now. Go ahead and replace that elbow. Open up at the top, pressing that bottom hip up. There it goes. Now, take a nice inhale for me. On your exhale, I want you to lift up a little higher. Exhale, lift. Cool. I get into the danger zone with my face a lot. But I like it. Live on the wild side. Three, two, excellent. One, nice job guys. Laying down on our back for our drawbridge. So, hands out to the side, palms up. I'm gonna have you lift your hips up. And just like Stefan, you're gonna keep your hips lifted, right? As you walk your feet back in and out. Four steps out, four steps in. Three, two, one, here we go. Out, 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 in, 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 in. Naturally, you're gonna see this in mod three right here, that when her legs extend all the way out, your hips drop slightly. And it's just by millimeters, maybe a couple inches, depending on your strength, right? Or depending on how extended your legs are. Because the further your legs are from your body, the more parallel your body will be with the floor. So we're really focusing on the glutes and the lower back to lift up. Exhale, 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 press, press, press. A little help goes a long way, right? Just a finger right here. Sometimes it's a mental game. Bring it in from you. Five more seconds. You got one more pass right here, Charlotte. Let's go. Three, two, walk it in, and one. Lower the hips down. Awesome job up top. Good job, girlfriend. Okay, guys, rotating Saxon, stand it on up. I want you to take your hands up overhead, toes facing forward, up over to the right, back through center. Twist, back through center. Up over to the left, through center. Twist, back through center. Here we go, all together. Three, two, one, let's go. Inhale, exhale, lift. 
Inhale, exhale, center. Inhale, exhale, up. Inhale, exhale, twist. I'm talking about the breath. Don't just let it be words that are entering your ear and leaving. Apply it, try it in your head. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, pull up. Inhale, exhale, unwind. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Feels different, right? You might get a little lightheaded first, but hey, your body gets used to it. Give it the oxygen the body needs. Muscles work better when they're full of oxygen. Three, two, one, and relax. Here is our final blowout of set B. You guys ready? Yeah. Semi-squat rotator, and then again, our single leg push, swing, pull, either leg, and our rotator starts it off. Hands clasped in front, shoulders down and back, rotating right and left. Three, two, one, here we go. So as you start to really wake up the sides of the body, each and every rotation is gonna get deeper and deeper, side to side. So she's actually gonna hit my hands. And that's not 180, you ready to hit 180? That's 180, good. Go Char, go Char, go Char, hit, hit. You have eight, seven, Char, six, five, four, three, two, one, right leg up. Palms up to the ceiling, roll the shoulder blades down and back, three, two, one, here we go. It's a push, swing, it's a pull. It's a push, a swing, and a pull. Push, swing, hi-ya, push, swing, oh, cha. There it is. Smile it up, you got three. Switching legs two, switching legs one. Left leg up, here we go. Keep those hands rocking wherever they were, right? It's the same hand motion, it's just switching legs. Three, two, keep the hands going, switch legs right now. Switch legs, I want one, I want two. Switch legs, can you keep the arms going? Switch legs, can you keep going? Switch legs. Look at that, so much focus going on. Three, two, last leg. One more, all the way around, push, swing, pull, jump into that semi-squat rotator right here, finish it up. You have six seconds, guys, come on. Go, guys. Here we go, here we go, bring it home. You got three, two, one. one. And go ahead and shake yeah. it out. Awesome job, job. guys. You got 45 Ooh, seconds boom. to catch your breath. Go grab a sip of water, do what you gotta do. So listen, your game won't improve just by lifting weights in the gym. That's why these exercises were put together specifically to enhance your game. If you're only practicing on the course, you're gonna deliver the same results. Now, wouldn't you like your score to drop? Yes. Yep. I mean, I would. <laughs> Let's get into some stretches that will give you the fluidity that your game really needs. This set is gonna be slightly different from the first two. Here, we're gonna focus on flexibility and mobility. I'm so glad you stuck around for set C. Let's get into our first round. It's gonna be hamstring push-ups. So bring your feet a little bit under your hips, and I want you to place your hands right above the tops of your knees, so they're on top of your quads. Fingers press out. You're gonna take a nice inhale. Exhale, push the hips back. Straight legs. So we're gonna inhale, three, two, one. Exhale, and we push. So we're looking for those nice straight legs back behind us. Inhale forward. Exhale, push. You're gonna be able to take the chest over and straighten out the legs a little bit more every single time. Now you're gonna see a nice push back, the hips raise up and the knees press back. So from the hips to the ankles, one straight line right here. Do you feel a stretch in the backs of your legs? That's your hamstrings. That's where we're looking to feel this stretch. Nice and easy, the breath is gonna really facilitate this move and give it that extra length because when you exhale, the body releases. So think about the muscle actually relaxing. It'll lengthen out so much easier. Good work right here. Three, two, one, and relax. Coming down into a down dog position, it's gonna be calf mobility. So what I want you to do right here is take your hands flat on the floor, drive your heels down, and you're gonna lift one foot at a time, really pressing the opposite heel into the floor, keeping your hips nice and high. Let's go in three, two, one, and begin. So, the shoulders are up in line, right above the wrist. The armpits are pressing back towards the legs, so that way your hips are up nice and high. And the higher the hips are, the more stretch you'll feel in the back of the leg. In all the mods, we're rocking our legs back and forth, trying to get our heels closer to the floor each time. 
nice and slow, don't strain. Every time we bend over with bent legs, you're really working the glutes right here and you're not stretching out the hamstrings. So what we're trying to do is lengthen out and then release. So you're gonna feel a nice release in the back of the legs. So mod one, we're down on our forearms. Hips are still high and still switching out the legs. You got three, two, one. Go ahead and relax, guys. Nice work. So as hip flexors coming up, so what I want you to do is stand it up nice and tall. Take your right leg back behind you and you're gonna drop your back knee, tuck your tailbone under so you have a nice flat hip, push your hip forward, and go ahead and take that right hand up to the sky, left hand down, flex through the palm. We're gonna inhale, five, four, let's go three, two, exhale, reach up and over to that left hand side. So you're gonna hold it here for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, reach a little further. So it's a five second breath hold, and exhale five seconds, reach a little further. Now, she's gonna press this hip even more forward, yeah? Nice, that's perfect. Go ahead and switch sides. Come out of it gently. Go ahead and place that left leg back behind you. Your tailbone slightly tucks under, hip pushes forward. Left hand presses, reach up, inhale. Three, two, one, exhale, reach over to the right. So your psoas starts right in the center, goes all the way down to the inside of that thigh. You have three, two, one, and relax. Let's come on down to our belly for the scorpion right here. So we're gonna lay all the way down. We're gonna tilt our head over to the right. Hands go off to the side. You're gonna take your right leg up, reach it back and cross over for one, two, back through center. Same leg up and over, one, two, back through center. Here we go, three, two, one, and begin. You're gonna stay on this right-hand side for half the time, then we'll go ahead and switch. So again, we're opening up the core, really releasing that low back right now. So the scorpion, your leg is simulating his tail right here, that nice bent knee, up and over with the toe. Look at that, nice little scorpion tail. You're not as dangerous though, I like <laughs> it. Switch legs. So you're gonna turn your head and look to the opposite direction. May seem easy, but it is a very deep stretch. Yeah. So you awesome. feel all that stretch in the front of the core, opening up, drawing back through the hip, and release down. Now you're gonna see difference in mod one and two right here. In mod two, he's a little bit lower with the leg and just a lift of the leg in mod one. Three, two, one, and relax. Supine leg crossovers is gonna have us laying down on our back. Now it's gonna be essentially the opposite of our scorpions. So I want your arms out to the side. I want you to take your leg up and over. Right leg first. Hold one, two, down. Lift, switching legs this time. One, two, down. Here we go, guys. Starting to the right leg in three, two, one. Up and over. Hold one, two, back through center. Left leg. Hold one, two, back through center. It's really important to engage your core as you lift it up to control its movement back and forth. In mod one, the leg comes up a little bit below hip and it's gonna only cross the midline of the body but it actually doesn't lower down towards the floor very much, right? We're gonna still feel it here and you're gonna get a nice stretch on the outside of the thigh as well, all the way up the glute and eventually the lower the leg goes, you're gonna get a nice twist in the back as well. You check out mod two right here. Palms stay down on the floor, focuses up to the ceiling, and it is an actual crossover, but the toe taps nice and low. Three, two, one. Awesome job. That felt great, huh? It felt wicked. It felt wicked. <laughs> wicked good. The lat wrist stretch is coming up next. So I want you to come over into child's pose right here. So you're gonna come onto your knees, and now what we're gonna do is take our hands all the way out in front of us, get up on those fingertips, and sit back, hips on your heels. You're gonna walk over to the right, hold your breath for five seconds, then release deeper into the stretch. We'll do the same thing on the other side with wrist mobility in between. Here we go in three, two, one. Walk your hands out through center, and then over to the right. Remember to hold your breath for about five seconds, then release deeper into the stretch. So we're still looking for a lat stretch right here, which is on the side of the body, right underneath the shoulders, and it comes all the way across the top of the back. Inhale slow. Exhale through center. We're gonna come all the way up onto our hands. You're gonna rock tops of the hands down, slowly back and forth. And go ahead and flip the palms under. Rock it forward and back. Feels great, huh? One more time, palms up. Tops of the hands down, rock it forward and back. 
and then tops of the hands up, palms down, rock it forward and back. Gently walk the fingertips over to the left hand side. Really reach that right hand all the way up and over. Hold your breath for five, then release it while pushing deeper into the stretch. Three, exhale two, and one. Go ahead and relax, walk it through center, shake it out. We're going into our seated leg twist. So take those feet on the floor in front of you. I want you to place your hands, fingers face behind you, chest nice and tall. We're gonna rock our feet, knees over to the right, up through center, over to the left, up through center. Here we go, guys. Three, two, one. It's nice and regal. Instead of sinking down and letting your shoulders come up to your ears like you're watching television, I actually want you to lift up like somebody really hot just walked in the room, right? <laughs> <laughs> So if you want to really expand this or advance this, you can start to look behind you and just add a nice deeper stretch in. There we go, nice. You're gonna see a mod one, not too much of a dip with the knees, right? So it stops halfway and all the way up. That's beautiful. So you're gonna see Stefan checking it out. There are my hot people all around this room, yeah? What's going on right here? I want you to tap my hand with your knee. Exhale, lower. Inhale up through center. Last three, two, one, and excellent work. Good job. Standing up for our blow it. It's a zen swing while we're standing up, and we're gonna take it down into an up dog. First, into a down dog. Walk the hands in, stand it right back up, and we're into our zen swing. Cool? We're gonna come in and out of it a few times. So let's start swinging out in three, two, one. Here we go, left side, and right, and left, and right. It's a feel good moment. I want a couple up dog, down dogs before we stand it back up, okay? Let's go in three, two, one, feet together. Walk your hands all the way out. Inhale, look up. Exhale, walk the hands in. Hips up to the sky. Walk your hands all the way back in. Walk it back out. Ooh. Inhale, arch and look up, up dog. Exhale, hips up to the ceiling. Walk the hands back in. Stand it all the way up and right back into Zen Swing right here. Swing it left, swing it right. Swing it left, swing it right. We're gonna do a couple up dog, down dogs from that plank position. Are you ready? Yeah. Feeling good? Three, two, one. Walk it all the way out to that full plank position. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, hips up, head down. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale. Head down, hips up. One more time like this. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, head down, hips up. Walk the hands slowly all the way in. Softly bend the knees, roll it all the way up. And right back into that Zen swing to finish off. Feels good, huh guys? Yeah. Not one of those blows that's really gonna attack the body, but more about nourishing the body right here. Three, two, one. And go ahead and shake it out. That was excellent. You got yourself a 45 second break. Do what you gotta do right here. And even though you're not sweating a ton right now, I want you to get some water because your body needs it as you're stretching out to get rid of all the toxins that are building up or being released in the body from all this stretching. It's gonna be pretty helpful. Now every time you play golf, you turn, you twist, bend, squat, and you walk. And even if you ride in a cart, man, you are repeating the same movements for four to five hours. Stretching can ease repetitive stress injuries. So let's do that set one more time. It's gonna feel even better this next time because our body knows where we're going. Starting off our second round of set C with our hamstring push-ups. Okay, so hands right above the kneecaps, yes, on top of the thighs. We're all gonna do this together in three, two, one. Inhale for me. Exhale, push the thighs back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, push back. Inhale, come forward. This breath and the movement is gonna be all yours. So you're gonna see a mod one right here. The hands are on the hips. So you can even push your fingers into your hips to send them back. It's a little trigger to know, okay, hips back, release the legs. Nice flat back in mod two. The chest is just gonna be up a little bit higher. You feel a nice stretch in the back of the leg? Yeah. Feels great, right? Absolutely amazing. A lot of times we miss out on stretching. You're getting a double dose of it. Three, two, one, and relax. Calf mobility stretch is coming up. 
Down into that down dog. Let's place our hands nice and snug on the floor. Hips up to the ceiling, drive the heels down into the floor. Your head should be nice and heavy enough that you could shake it out. One heel up at a time, and as you're ready, switch it out. Three, two, one, here we go. It's a nice switch. One heel nice and high, one heel really drop down. So the more you drop that heel down into the floor, the more you're actually gonna feel a stretch. It comes from the heel, it wraps along the back side of the ankle, all the way up the Achilles, and then it connects, right? There's a couple layers in your calf right here. So the more you hold it and exhale and sink into it, the more you're gonna feel the stretch. If you're really tight back here, this is definitely gonna be one of those stretches that you need to do. So you start to unlock your calves. We walk around so much, go upstairs, go downhill. That calf is being used all the time and it's never being stretched out. I promise this feels great. Three, two, one, and relax. So as hip flexors coming up, so stand it up and our right leg's gonna go back behind us. All we're gonna do is place your hands on your hips first, right leg back, drop the knee slightly, tuck the tailbone under, hip forward. Right hand reaches up, left hand reaches down. It's a five second inhale, five second exhale. Let's go. In three, two, one, inhale five, four, Three, two, one. Exhale, reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hold the breath. And on the exhale, you're gonna reach up and further. So you don't wanna go too far too fast. Let's go ahead and release and switch sides. Switching the back leg. Now you're gonna see in mod three, her lunge is pretty deep and she's actually taking a stretch over to the side. Now in mod two, not as deep of a lunge, but the palm is still pressed up, exhale is nice and lifted. While one hand reaches up, the other hand reaches down and this hip is gonna really tuck under and forward. Bring the chest, aha, look at that. Nice work, three, two, one, exhale. Once you find that aha moment, it's gonna give that movement a whole new feeling in your body, really connect with it. We're moving right along into our scorpion, okay? Laying down onto our belly. Take your head over to the right, palms out to the side. Right leg lifts up and over, hold for two. Three, two, one, here we go. One, two, in through center, same leg. Exhale, hold. One, two, in through center. Exhale, up and over, one, two. Inhale, back through center. So the goal is become more flexible so you can reach that toe to the hand. It can happen, I promise. May not feel like it happens. Let's go switch legs right here. Just like everything, stretching gets better with practice as well. So your muscles are gonna learn to adapt and they're going to lengthen out to their optimal length. After all these strength exercises, they get a little bit shortened because of all the contractions. The stretch is actually letting it go. Really facilitate that movement with the breath. Three, two, one, go ahead and lower down. Nice work right there. Flip it over onto your back so we have these supine leg crossovers happening. I want you to take your arms out to the side. Let's begin. Let your head rest on the floor. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale, twist over to the left. We're gonna hold one, two, back through center. Nice. Left leg up and over. So you're just going to tap my hand with your toe, nice and low, inhale back through center. We're alternating sides here. So again, mod three, we're going all the way over 90 degrees. Mod two, a little less, about 45 degrees, keeping your shoulders grounded. And then on mod one, the leg is going to lift. It's gonna be a small cross, doesn't tap the floor, back through center and lowers down. You guys are looking great. How are we feeling? Great. That's good. You have three, two, one, lower down and go ahead and flip over. We're gonna move right into our lat wrist stretch and it comes from child pose. So get on your knees and I want you to stay up on your fingertips for me. Walk your hands out, starting in three, two, one. Exhale, walk your hands over to the right. Really walk that left hand away from the body a little bit more. Drop the head down. Walk the hands back through center. Slide all the way up to your hands. Rock it forward and back, palms down on the floor. Flip the palms under. And back over. One more time, we're gonna go under, flip the palms up. And last time right here, gently walk the fingertips out and away from you, over to the left hand side. 
Walk the right fingertips even further. Let the head drop down. Get that lat stretch in. Should be right underneath that shoulder and along the side and top of the back. Three, two, one. Back through center. Slide all the way up. Final rock forward. You have three, two, and one. Go ahead and roll it out. We have our seated leg twist, so just slide your feet in front of you. You can scoot your feet in nice and close to you. Rotate your fingers back behind you. Lift the chest up nice and tall. Suck the belly in. Inhale for me. In three, two, exhale the knees down to the right. Inhale up through center, exhale twist. Now again, if you want to add the head in, you're going to look left. Inhale up through center. Legs left, look right. This is beautiful. Check out these new shoulders. It's so regal, it's so beautiful. Get the shoulders away from your ears, up nice and tall. Walk your hands in closer to your body. In, aha, look at that. So you're gonna see in mod two that his hands are gonna be facing out instead of back behind him. So his shoulders are gonna be nice and away from his ears. Start to look up a little bit. Good, that's beautiful. And you're gonna see in mod one right here, the fingers are actually facing forward. Just starting to open up our shoulders. Three, two, one, exhale. We're gonna go ahead and stand it up for our Zen swing. It's gonna walk into an up dog, down dog, right? Here's your final blowout, guys. Let's have fun with it. Hands out to the side. Three, two, one, and begin to swing. The first time we walk out into that plank, I want up dog, down dog, and I want four of them, okay? Nice and slow. Go at your own pace. Inhale, arch and look up. And then you're gonna bring your head down to the floor as your hips raise up. In three, two, one. Step your feet together. Slowly roll all the way down. Walk out to that plank position. Inhale, arch and look up. Tuck the toes. Exhale, hips up. Head down. That's one. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale. Look at that. Brilliant. Two more. Inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, hips up, heels down. Last one, inhale, arch and look up. Exhale, hips up, heels down. Walk the hands back in towards the feet, soft bend in the knees. As you roll up, go ahead and exhale over to the left. Inhale to the right. Start to really fire up the lungs, lifting the heel off and following the hips with the chest. That feels good. We're gonna go two up dog, down dogs, in another six seconds. Get ready to walk it out. Three, two, one. Walk it all the way out. As soon as you get down, inhale, arch and look up. Hips up, heels down, drop the head. You have three, two, one. Go ahead and softly walk the hands back in one at a time. Bend the knees and begin your journey all the way up to a nice standing position. Roll the shoulders away from the ears. And let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath in. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, the hands down to heart center, and golf clap it out for you guys. You did a great job today. That was golf one, the extended program. Now listen, I know a lot of golfers can get stressed about their game on the course, but if you approach it right, it can really be stress relieving. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Rebecca, and this is Evolve.